All right, guys, it's time. Something we've been looking forward to all year long for a couple months already. Juju's deer hunt here in Utah. Muzzleloader hunt, gonna see if we can't get a nice deer. You guys can see here the scenery is absolutely unreal in this campsite we picked. Awesome place here. Kind of moist, there's water that runs through here. Nice shade and all. Beautiful looking country. Where we decided to, we're gonna hunt and stuff, there's a lot of other hunters that are around here. And there's gonna, you know, we're gonna have some competition with other hunters, but this country's so big out here and so much to glass that I don't think we're gonna have a problem running into other hunters. I'm excited, super excited. Think you're gonna get it done, you? Yep. See if we can get a new PB. Over 150 inches, hopefully. Yep. Then. Dang, you trying to show off your muscles now, huh? Of course. Does that count as a crash or just a scratch? Scratching up my truck. We're good. Do you want a berry? Well, these roads were dusty. <laughs> Everything just dust. Do if you get dehydrated, you start getting dehydrated. There's a salt lick right here. You can start licking on. I was wondering what that was. The cows lick them. Deer will lick on them too. All right, so we're about to set up the tent right now. Just right here in the shade. And there it is. Nice big old tent. This is a 10 man tent right here, so we're gonna be living comfortable. But I also set out these chairs. Awesome chairs made by iClimb. It's a small chair, but it's actually super comfortable. These ones have like cup holders and stuff, so we're gonna be hunting good tonight. Alright, so Juju's ready for this hunt. Go ahead and show them the muzzle loader you're using real quick. One cool thing about Utah is you're allowed to put a scope on your muzzle loader. In Nevada, you're not allowed to. We have to use iron sights all the time. This is his muzzle loader right here. Same one we always use, just a CVA Optima. Works great. Juju's good. Out to probably 200. What would you say? Yeah, I'd feel comfortable shooting about 200 yards. Yeah, about 200 yards is like a pretty easy shot with that thing right now since it's got a scope on it. And we're comfortable. It's literally probably 10 degrees cooler in the shade, huh? Yeah, it feels good out here. Hopefully there's deer in this area. Yeah. We've never been out here, but it looks really good. Really green, but some of the, the areas around here have bushes and little trees that are about six to 10 feet tall. So you'll get a little glimpse of a, of a deer and then you don't see them again. At the very peaks of these, it looks like there's some burn area. It's gonna be a, a long haul to get up there, but if we need to, if there's a big enough buck, we'll go to the top. Um, no service. So if you're watching this, you have service, feel lucky about that because no service, Juju's looking at his phone every 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, hopefully we have a good time, get a buck done and, and get out of here and go back to the AC. Why are she gonna be doing a little bit of hiking right now? Look for a buck, do a little bit of glassing. See if we can find something we like. Put a stock on it. And between us and the big bucks is a mountain. We gotta get over that mountain and then over another one. You ready for this? This is gonna be rough. All right, let's get it. All right. You ready? Here it goes. Okay. Right. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go.
search this area for two hours and can't find not one buck. We've seen a lot of those today. Yeah. yeah. How many? I saw five down here. Another one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About thirteen does I think we've seen. I saw a bunch of does. Not one, not even one inch of antler on anything. This is frustrating. Beautiful country. Alright guys, it's 5.30 in the morning, day three. Slap like champs. We worked so hard the day before that it felt good to finally get in there and put it down. Day three. See these dudes are motivated, they're ready. They got a bright light in their eyes. <laughs> We've been seeing a bunch of does but still haven't seen a buck, so we're gonna see who'll we'll find one eventually. It's it's crazy out here. So much competition. There's a dude that drives down these roads over here in Utah every five minutes, so there's no way there's a deer around this road because if there is he either got hit three times by different people or got shot seven times. So <laughs> it's super thick out here, so it's oh, my foot's falling asleep. Real thick out here, so it can be hard to glass sometimes. You gotta kind of glass slowly. If there's any bucks in here, we'll see them. All right, guys, uh, did the morning hunt. This morning, I actually saw, or we all actually saw probably 30, 40 does. So, a lot more productive than definitely the morning before we, where we only saw five does, but still not what we're looking for. The buck to doe ratio out here just seems absolutely horrible. Um, seriously, seen about 50 does this trip for zero bucks not even an inch long horn on any of them we're gonna move again to a spot we were at earlier and see what's going on here because people shooting up on the hills and stuff well one dude shot we actually saw him up there shoot but nobody's killing nobody's nothing so there ain't squad out here but hunters more hunters and more hunters so definitely interesting oh man day three is it day three yeah. I count the days as days being out here. So, well, the first day was a set show up, up in night. dark and sleep. So yeah, technically so two nights and one and a half days. I count a day as we're going hunting. Start the car. That's day one. I don't <laughs> care what time it is. <laughs> that's yeah. day one. You left the house. Then where's he at hunting? Okay, that's day one. <laughs> so day two was yesterday. If we don't do it tonight we're gonna hunt tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening so day four and after that this hunt is done and the reason why it's done is because we're gonna go watch the Adesanya and Costa fight if you guys know me you know I love UFC and so do all of us and we're gonna go watch that fight that's gonna be a good fight how many miles you on hike this afternoon I don't know where are the deer at Bust a coin out, Jew. Where's the magic coin? So here's the lucky quarter. It's a gold-plated quarter. Adrian was born in Georgia, and this is his lucky quarter. So Juju. It's gold. Oh, we're gonna go back to that area I told you about. Flip it and let us know if we're gonna kill something. So heads is we're going there. And heads is tonight. always yes. Yeah. Heads is we're going there, and you get something. We'll be gone by tonight. Here you go. What is it? It's tails. All right, so we'll be here another night. I told them my words of wisdom for the for the trip was, where the grass is green, the deer will be seen. <laughs> all right, so Cap got packed up, cleaned it up, made it all nice. Um, even cleaned up some of the trash that the people before left. Awesome place. I really thought that this place was gonna hold some nice bucks, but it didn't. Yeah, so this ball is actually a fail. We happened, we didn't see nothing but two does that spooked when we pulled up to the spot. But we glassed this whole thing and we didn't see nothing, so. This is day four and our last day. We lay out pads and we literally sleep under the stars. I slept great. I slept right there on the edge. Yeah, that, that purple sleeping bag is my daughter somehow ended up in the back of the truck. So. <laughs> All right, so this is the last morning here, or most likely the last morning. Unless we see something that actually wants to make us stay, uh, we're not going to stay another night. So 
This morning's gonna be kind of a quick hunt. We're gonna check out this new spot for a little bit, see if we could see a buck. If not, then we're gonna go ahead and head home, but cool hunt, just no buck. Hey. Juju's gonna do the suicide push-up challenge here. Not 100% sure if I could do the 50, but we're gonna give it our best shot. So. He's gonna try to raise awareness for our vets, so let's see. Suicide challenge Yep. for so. veterans, 50 push-ups straight. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if I can do it. It's for you guys. Let's do it. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Let's go. 47, 48, 49. Hit it. Oh! Nice. <laughs> he did a one hand. There you go, baby. He's growing. You got everything to live for beautiful out here and stick through stay strong let's do it well Jew your hunt's coming to an end if we would have saw a buck believe me we would climb to the highest mountain top and I mean we've put in the work we just didn't see anything I hope you guys enjoyed this video we didn't harvest we had a great time out here Juju hasn't showered in four days. We yeah, gotta go to back quick. Four days <laughs> I ain't gonna be crying in my room about not killing nothing tonight because I know next time I'm at them, get some. So Juju's like, next time he go. Next time I'm putting bolt. Hey, and I know my cousin's watching this, Chuito. You know, we've been hanging out since day one. Kids out there trying to hunt squirrels and doves and rabbits with BB guns and all that. Juju. He's one at one right now. The tiebreaker goes to Tucson. We're gonna be down there in Tucson with my cousin. He's gonna hunt with us. We'll be out there for four or five days again. On a That's gonna happen a what? Coos hunt. On a coos hunt. November. So it's up to Chuito whether or not Juju finishes the season on two wins and one loss or one win and two losses. So we'll be seeing you soon. You excited for that one? Of course, like always. Hopefully we can put one down, but we'll see. It's always good to have a a deer hunt like this too because most of our deer hunts you know being from Nevada and stuff the draw it's a little bit harder deer populations are high and stuff and we don't have a lot of hunters around us so we get a little bit spoiled sometimes when we get to see you know tons and tons of deer a day lots of bucks and we get to be picky and all this and that this hunt definitely is like a humbling experience it, it kind of puts you back we just enjoyed our company because we didn't see a whole lot of deer this trip and it's honestly a refreshing feeling because like senior was mentioning the world has gone crazy in recent months it feels like and, and whenever you just get to get out here and escape and, and have no service for four we didn't have service for four days or like three days for however long we're out here literally no service we literally were stuck just talking to each other and it kind of brings families closer it brings people closer you get you know you get funny and stuff a lot of jokes get cracked all kinds of stuff it, it, it's a good time so if you guys haven't come out here and you just want to come out and try i mean it doesn't it doesn't always matter about the deer or anything that's just a bonus so i appreciate you guys for watching this video we got a lot of coyote hunting coming up because now we have a little bit of a break and we're going to be able to get out after some fish and some coyotes so you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that because it's going to be awesome but other than that, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you outdoors. And I'll see you outdoors. <laughs>